Hey there garden friends. Welcome back to Not Quite Homesteading ESK Garden Channel. Um, today I'm not doing a ton of stuff in the garden. Um, I just wanted to come out and show you guys some quick new additions to the garden for the spring that I am super excited about and I just wanted to share like and bring you guys along really quickly you know it's a beautiful day out we're getting like 70 degree weather right now our high for today is supposed to be 76 it is january 4th and i said let me come out get some fresh air take in a little bit of the green and then just share the update with you so if you are someone that's returning thank you for um thank you for supporting another video if you are someone that is new if you're a gardener yourself looking for community support if you are if you are a gardening enthusiast or if you're someone that just enjoys watching others fruits of their labor in the garden i'd appreciate if you hit that subscribe button support the channel and like and engage with me in the comments so let's go ahead and get out in the garden I know I show you guys my tomato tree often. Um, the fact that it's January and this tree is like really thriving has me super excited. Now, I just will say um, from like the quick, from the cold that we had, like the cold snap and kind of watering the plants back in, I am seeing a little bit of like splitting on some of the tomatoes. So I don't know if you guys can like see that as well as a little bit of like blossom and rot. but. Overall, the tomatoes, they do look really, really good. And I'm really, um, I'm really excited to just kind of have this finally thriving. I struggled a lot with this plant and to see it finally come alive is really nice. And I know I made mention of this in one of my previous videos. Um, basically, I think it was the garden update video after the freeze. So if you guys can see this green onion plant, it actually did bounce back as expected. So I'm starting to get new growth off of the plants that were here that were leaning over. I cut them back and they're looking really, really good. My Swiss chart, however, I can't say the same for. So this really did not survive. Even though I do see some new green leaves that look like they might do something else. So we will see, I will leave it. But um, as of right now, I'm not super hopeful for that plant. And then the one thing I will say is the cold actually really helped this collard plant. This plant started thriving once we got that cold, like that really, really freezing frost. Um, kind of excited about the way these look. They look really good. It feels like they can use a little bit of water now, but that is the one plant I think that really needed that cold weather to thrive. So the first two additions that we have here, which I haven't even unpacked yet, are two blueberry trees or plants and um, i ended up picking these up from a local nursery you can see they have like their winter leaves on so this is um normal from the research that i've done like when we're in like the cooler seasons the leaves do turn like a red um i don't know if i should peel those off like or pull them back so that that plant can look more like this one but i ended up getting a brightwell blueberry as well as um a climax blueberry the bright wall is a rabbit eye it is a high bush which is not really what i wanted but it seems to be the only thing that they have here and then um the climax i couldn't find i don't think it's a rabbit eye but it is also a high bush tree this one is supposed to yield um sweet fruits and the bright well is supposed to yield a I think more balanced i hope i don't have that backwards i might have that backwards but i'll double i'll double check and correct it on the screen so those are one of the additions and then over here uh-oh we have a visitor <laughs> um over here i have a maya lemon tree ad. and then i have on a yellow shirt oh no <laughs> i have a Meyer lemon tree which I've been wanting a lemon tree since I started the garden. Um, I haven't unpacked it yet, but I'm gonna do that today. It's a little windy out here, but I'm super excited about this. These trees smell so, so good, just walking by them in the nursery. But this one looks pretty healthy. Um, I think I made a pretty decent selection as far as like the leaves go. The tree right now is roughly about five, five and a half feet. I am 5'3", it's a little bit taller than me, so. So from what I gathered, um, that means the tree should be somewhere between about three and five years old. Oh no, <laughs> 
the bee is trying to get me trees should be somewhere from about three to five years old which means i should be getting fruit off of them this season um i will say the one thing the nursery was nice they had a lot of stuff it was a little overwhelming and the woman that did help us she was super nice you know give her credit for that but i feel like they could have been a little bit more educated about the trees and you know the information that i was asking from what research i had previously done and i just feel like i couldn't get the right questions answered so i will say that's one thing ah, hey. <laughs> i need to go change my shirt <laughs> I will say that that is one thing that I was like a little um, disappointed in to say, you know, that I just couldn't get the questions answered that I would expect to get answered from uh, someone that's working in a nursery. But the tree looks good um, based on my own research. Like I said, I think the tree is roughly somewhere between about three and five years old. So I am expecting fruit off of that one. I did pick up a key lime tree to which I have a... <laughs> A body and a cup of coffee in the mix and this is the key lime tree and some feet <laughs> and if you want me to move you can <laughs> just say hey <laughs> get out the way back um and this was you know this is a little bit of a harder selection for me I, I know that i wanted a key lime tree but i was kind of torn between getting this and the um just like the regular like mexican limes that we would typically get but I am so excited about this. Now this one has some really healthy stalks. I'm not sure like how much I'm going to have to trim this down, but I also don't want to do anything that's going to interrupt the fruiting process for me this year. So after I do some more research on this, I'll figure out, you know, what I need to do to get my plant fruiting and to not get out of control because I am going to be keeping these in containers. I can't do in-ground planting where I'm at and I'm okay with that, trust me. Um, I don't want anything that's gonna bring in unnecessary wildlife that we typically wouldn't have here if we didn't have these things here. So I'm super excited about that and I just wanted to share that. If you guys do have any tips on the blueberry trees, how to get them started, things that you think I should know as a new gardener, or the same with the Maya lemon or key lime trees, let me know. Um, I want to make sure that I do this right so that these trees last a really, whoa, how did I get so big? <laughs> Zooming myself in. I want to make sure I'm doing all the right things so that these trees do last a really long time and so that I don't set my back my so that I don't set myself back from any fruit that I would be getting this year. I appreciate you guys for joining me for this quick garden update and I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.